Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today we're going to be looking at leopard prints or I guess big cat prints. I've been seeing more and more leopard print outfits lately, both on social media and in stores when I go take a look around. I realized that whenever I go to the Ukai Ukai, I would just always pass by the leopard prints and just dismiss them. I never really used to be attracted to leopard or animal prints. I honestly used to find them a little a little tacky when worn a certain way. Um, of course, if you wear animal prints a different way, they can really elevate an outfit. But I just pretty much stayed clear of cheetah prints or leopard prints, mainly because I didn't know what to do with them or how to wear them. But thanks to Pinterest or stylists or people I see in real life that wear animal prints, I'm getting a little bit more experimental and confident in the way that I wear prints. So whenever I see a leopard print in the ukai ukai, I always give it a little more thought and see if it's something I can work with with the things in my wardrobe. Of course, there are other animal prints that you can easily find in ukai ukai, such as Dalmatian prints or tiger prints, zebra prints, cow prints, but the most common, or at least I think the most common prints you're gonna find are things like these, so leopard prints. This is from the Ukai Ukai, this is a really old top, it's also from the Ukai Ukai, and this was in my last Ukai Ukai haul, I'm gonna link the video below. The Ukai Ukai is the best place to go if you just want to try something out and not spend too much. One of the things that helps me style leopard prints is to think of them as neutrals. I don't know if a lot of you do this as well, but because the shades are brown and black and cream, I really just try to pair those with things I would normally pair with neutrals. And then the part about them having spots or being really bold just hits you a little while after. And I think that's what makes the outfit interesting. This top, for example, I'm just wearing now as a mini dress. It's very long, it comes down to my knees, but in my ukai ukai haul, I wore this closed up and worn over brown pants and black boots. But you can change it up even with simple accessories. So for example, if I button this up and put maybe a statement necklace, as you can see, it already changes the look a lot. It would make Bruno Mars very proud. You could also try layering over it with something in a more subdued color, such as this lightweight vest. So I think that kind of softens the look a little bit. There are countless ways you could style a top like this. These are really easy to play with and I guess you just have to be a little bit brave. I actually have a video called how I would style a printed top. 20 plus ways. I'm going to put the link below in case you can pick up a few ideas from there. It's the same concept. I was wearing a printed blouse and I used a number of items from my wardrobe to really change up the looks and to really make the blouse work for many different occasions and situations. As I was looking through my wardrobe, I was pretty happy to find that I had at least one leopard print in each clothing category. So today I'm going to show you a pair of shorts, a skirt, a blazer, a jacket, a couple of shoes, and some accessories like a belt and a scarf. I thought it would be interesting to see if I could style each item at least two ways. So maybe a dressy way and a more casual way. I am by no means a fashion expert or a print expert. I just have started loving experimenting with different styles of clothing and different prints. So please just see this as a learning process for me as well. Nothing you will see will be really out there or overly creative. This is just how I would wear it at the moment with what I know. And I hope we all enjoy this video together.
I hope you found this video a little interesting and hopefully a little bit helpful. Thanks for stopping by and for watching and I'll see you in my next video.